this one is like a good YouTuber. Fully transparent. Oh. Temperature is dropping. Temperature is dropping. Come here. I thought the more fat, the better. So like this is what my mom wanted me to look like. Like this. And then just like studying. But then. Oh, this is what she got. Ow. <laughs> this is what she got. <laughs> I would like to say that this is an upgrade. <laughs> I'm kidding. She hates me. Hi. Welcome to today's video. <laughs> so today I'm excited. I love potatoes, I love TikTok, I love TikTok potatoes! We're gonna be trying two very famous TikTok potato recipes that I'm excited about. One is extra bougie, the other one is extra not bougie. Let me explain. So the first one that we're doing is a 15 hour potato recipe where you get the world's crispiest. They said it almost tastes just like if you were to fry air, a chunk of oxygen, and you bite into it, that crunch, the crispness, but it's airy, but it's potatoes. That's what I heard that that recipe is. It takes 15 hours, but I've done 100 hour brownies that were ultimately disappointing. So like, I mean, 15 hour disappointment doesn't really seem like a big deal anymore. And then, on the other hand, we're gonna make mashed potatoes out of chips. Because chips are made out of potatoes. You know how you make mashed potatoes out of potatoes? Why? We're gonna Why did make... you just do one? <laughs> no, this is a very simple recipe. We're gonna make mashed potatoes out of potato chips. I bought these on purpose for this video because who the f eats sea salt potato chips? I will eat them if I have no choice. But if you ain't giving me no salt and vinegar, we're not friends. That's what we're doing today. I'm kind of excited, but first, I wanna talk to you guys about something that I read on Reddit. There was this thread that was like, what's a fun fact, but not really a fun fact, or something like that, okay? And I was like browsing through the thread because I was like, this is kind of interesting. Like, I wanna know all these not so fun facts. And there was this one that said, prescription glasses are probably a very high value item inside of your home that is least likely to get stolen. And I was thinking about it, and I was like, that's so true. Nobody else wants my prescription glasses but me. But why am I spending five bajillion dollars on them? When in reality, nobody else wants them. And I related to that one so hard because when I got glasses in middle school, my mom would only buy me one pair until they were pretty much like this on my face. And then she was like, fine, I guess we'll get you another one because your teachers are trying to call ZPS on me. And so <laughs> that is when I found out about GlassesUSA.com. I, I get all my glasses from there. I mean, it's kind of insane. The best thing about GlassesUSA.com is that they cut out the middleman, which means that all of their eyeglasses, their sunglasses, they are up to 70% off of retail prices. They have their own in-house brands. I'm talking Amelia E, Muse, but they also have their designer brands like Ray-Bans, Gucci, Prada, if you feel in a little fancy. They've got over 9,000 styles and all of your eyeglasses and sunglasses, you can get a full pair, like a complete pair of prescription eyeglasses or sunglasses starting at $30. And that's because a free prescription is included in almost every single frame. I'm gonna link all of my favorites, all of these super affordable. I'm gonna link them all in the description and thank you GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring today's Actually, I don't even think it was like a Reddit thread like that. I think it was on Shower Thoughts. I don't know, don't quote me, but it had 20,000 upvotes, so 20,000 people agreed with me. Anyways, continuing on to my TikTok potatoes. I'm gonna show him the TikTok potatoes. It's by um, Poppy Cooks. Also, she had like had a British accent, so like now I have a British accent. He's upset by this recipe. Tell them why you're offended. What's wrong? I, I don't see 1% of why. What's so good about it? Uh, what's, that what's, looks what like the of type of food necessary? that the 1% eat. Imagine french fries that we eat right now are just, they're like a golf cart. This is the fucking Bugatti of french fries. And we can make it at home. We don't even have to go spend that much money. This is probably the most expensive ingredient, which is duck fat. This jar was like $10. We're gonna make Poppy Cook's 15 hour potatoes. Let's do this. <laughs> Here's my philosophy in life. If you're gonna peel the potatoes, you don't even need to wash them. Am I right? Am I right? I'm being forced into this, but if you're interested, I do have a veggie scrubber. Look, it'll oh, clean the, scrub hard, scrub harder. Now show me. I told you, it's just so <laughs> I forced him into this and he hates me now. Why? <laughs> I was trying to get him to use an egg, but then we don't have eggs. No, sir. Don't put your face right here. <laughs> I should have purchased, um, what is it? A mandalorian. A mandolin. A mandolin. Mandolin? That doesn't sound right. They need to be like transparent. This one is like a good YouTuber. Fully transparent. This one is just not. This one's opaque. You can't see. I don't have a mandalorian, but I'm gonna try 
try this baby. So this is my cheese grater, welcome. <laughs> it's got this one side that has like a cutter thing. Wait, you... Huh. Huh, that's pretty thin, no? Which one's your child? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Grab this injectable butt fat, otherwise known as duck trunk. Do <laughs> <laughs> you like that pop dance? So we're gonna do about maybe I want to say a little more than a fourth cup of duck fat. Why duck fat? So the French, <laughs> they like to put potatoes with duck fat, and that's how they get their elevated taste. We like to do potatoes and just peanut oil and like make. In French fries, the French they like to put it with duck fat, and apparently it makes the tomato, the potato, <laughs> makes the potato French. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna microwave this real quick because apparently you're supposed to get it a little bit more liquidy than this. I feel like that really isn't a lot of duck fat. So we're gonna do half a teaspoon, maybe a little less because this is um pink salt. We're gonna dunk in all the potatoes. So each piece has to be coated. We're gonna go microwave some more duck fat. This is a disgusting recipe. <laughs> Look at this, it's glistening in the wind. Now that I think that most of the pieces are pretty well coated, I'm gonna go in with my loaf pan. This is how you do it. This is the most important part. So what you do is you actually just start kind of like laying them down almost like okay. scalloped. I don't think you need to do like one by one. No. Why? They don't even cook. All right, so that's 15 hours. <laughs> so you just want them really compressed. It almost looks like an apple pie. I'm getting confused. Now we're gonna stick it in the oven at 250 degrees for three hours. Now that we have three hours to kill plus another 15 hours to kill while that is making, I'm about to make these mashed potatoes. I'm actually curious to see how this turns out. So this is by a TikTok username by the name of Ellis Kitchen, and I think he does a lot of like cooking videos. But this, essentially, all you have to do is boil water, put some salt, put some vinegar into the boiled water, add four cups of these chips, boil it, then mash it. Here's what's going on. Right before it starts boiling, you're gonna sprinkle in some salt, which is confusing because these are sea salts. But you know what? I don't question the recipe. I just go with the flow. And then you're gonna splash some vinegar. To splash. I was gonna measure out the chips, but I realized that's gonna be really difficult. So while that's boiling, oh my god, this feels what's something that isn't illegal but should feel illegal. It's still kind of crunchy. It's like when you dip chips in ew. <laughs> it's been an hour and Stephanie wants to wants me to give you guys an update. It looks exactly the same. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Can I show them what you've done? So he likes to call this what they do in China when there's a war. He said that you get um, rice packets, you stack them up, and it's impenetrable. And so he stacked it up saying all this sh and I came over here. And he was really upset with me. That's the second time I've done that today. Whoa, it smells like just grease. Whoa. Did we grease it too much? Yeah. Now we put it in the refrigerator and let the grease mold. Oh, really? <laughs> 15 hours, yeah. Okay. I think I put too much duck fat. But what you're gonna do next, you're gonna put parchment paper on top, and then you're gonna need to press it down with something, something heavy. No, not my rice. Oh, yeah. Honey, you've got like seven bags of rice. Now I put it into the fridge for 15 hours. Okay, Why do you want to keep we want to keep the water because in the video, he drinks the water. No, he did No, not. I swear. That's disgusting. <laughs> Why would you drink that water? Drink it. You drink it then. Have a sip. No, you have a sip. No, you go You're lying. Hold I'm on, not hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Cheers. It's all grease. No, he drinks it. It's good for you, right? I'm not drinking. I feel like I just put on lip gloss. I'm not stupid. <laughs> put them in the bowl. I do not think it. potato chip will actually taste like potatoes. <laughs> it's in the name. Try it's it. a potato. It tastes like potato. Wow, Josh. It kind right? of, it's, it's like very a interesting. seasoning nice potato, too. Let's go. So everyone can see your dad pose. You're not hiding your dad pose from nobody. So now you're just gonna. I've never seen him so fascinated in Why anything in life before, except for the fact that a potato chip is actually potato. But uh, can you like potato. Once they're mashed, this is the fun part. What are you looking up? Is Pringle real potato? <laughs> You're gonna need <gasps> what? They're to make their uniform design, Pringles uses a special recipe which doesn't actually include potatoes. See? Fake potatoes. Fake. Fake. 
Now we're gonna add one fourth cup parm cheese. I got my my special hand grated in our home parm cheese. I, I can't believe this is potato chip. I think if you were to add some bacon and some green onions in here, sprinkle some yeah. green onions in here, no one would know that this is a potato chip mashed potato. Cause right. just looking at it, it looks like, um like I didn't fully cook it, but I don't think that has anything to do with the chips. I think it has to do with me being impatient about boiling water. So let's try this. I'm nervous, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Some mm -hmm. sort, some butter of some sort to make it extra creamy. Yeah. What did you add in there that tastes like shit? I didn't add nothing. Mm. I didn't add nothing. And we'll be back in 15 hours. Good night and night. good luck. I don't know. I'm pretty much. Can you boy. stop? Can you stop eating potatoes with a chopstick? That's crazy. We're back. So here's what's going on. I wanted to do the TikTok potatoes earlier today. I got I got into a case. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I got really into it. I penetrated that case. I couldn't think about anything else and I completely forgot the, about the potatoes. So now it's been about a solid 30 hours. It's gonna be extra good, right? Double the time. Or it's gonna fall apart. I will say, not the whole time was I absorbed in the, in the case. I have been following up with the Gorilla Glue situation. This is gonna be such a debate. I, I have so many thoughts right now I need to talk about them otherwise I can't just fry up potatoes as if my mind isn't occupied this overwhelming question of how do you get Gorilla Glue out of your hair let me explain I'm sure you guys have seen the TikTok if not the YouTube video if not someone showing the TikTok if not on Instagram it's all over the place it's freaking viral so this woman she was showing off her hair and she said that her hair has been like this for the past month not by choice because she decided instead of using her hairspray, she had run out of it. And so she decided to use the Gorilla Glue spray. Now, there has been a lot uh, of debate. Gorilla Glue spray? I know, I didn't know that. Like, that seems really would dangerous. You, what would you ever spray? That's a good <laughs> self-defense weapon. Instead of pepper spray? Gorilla, gorilla Glue, glue spray. spray. <laughs> Good, no? This is so good! Because even the Gorilla Glue, so much harder than Super Glue for me. Anytime I use Gorilla Glue, I stress out. She sprayed the Gorilla Glue onto her hair. Now, there has been very furious debates over whether she had um, misrecognized the Gorilla Glue to be something called Gorilla Snot, which actually has, you know, their own form of hairspray, apparently. I've never heard of that brand, but apparently. Or, if she genuinely looked at the Gorilla Glue spray and was like, it can't be that bad, and sprayed it on her head. Now, it was funny, the first time, right? I saw that video, I ha 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 a little. I said, oh, oh no. Genuinely, I thought it was a prank. I thought it was like fake. I thought she was lying. You know, I was like, there's no way. Like, she's getting famous, but like, girl, do you. I love you. But then the next video, she showed her putting shampoo onto it. Nothing moved. Like, she couldn't even, you know, even if you tie it to, like, she couldn't even stick her pinky nail in between two hair molecules, two hair strands. <sighs> It's a permanent hairstyle. <laughs> and so recently, I've been watching this YouTube video that she posted of her going to the hospital and coming home and trying to get rid of it. Like, you gotta put rubbing alcohol on it, but it hurts, and then it gets sensitive after rubbing it. And then I think some people were saying put acetone on it, which is really toxic. Yeah, it's Not as a on your head. Yeah. You might kill some brain cells. Yeah, honey. My Korean mom says, if you put some kimchi juice on it, it should lather that baby right up. Because I did see a lot of comments of people being like, you should try this. And I'm like, what the fork? With what? With what scientific evidence are we recommending this? And so some people said acetone, which is very toxic and probably burns. And then some people said, um, like a car grease. So I just want to know if you guys have any idea of one person Why? that you think that could solve this. Who would it be? Because everyone's saying, where is the Gorilla Glue CEO? Who is this person? I think this person is more sought after right now than the Robin Hood CEO. Like, who's this man? It's gonna be a man, I know it is. Watch it not be a man. Watch it be one of the very few companies that has a female CEO. Mark. Mark. Well, fuck you at Mark. Anyway, anyway. let's get the potatoes out. <laughs> I'm ready for this shit. If this can you show them the amount of grease that is in this? Oh, God. oh yeah. Okay. 30 hours later. Ew. It's not supposed oh, to be. Oh my God. 
Ew, 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 it cuts through like jello. Smaller. It's really gross. You gotta fry it. Um, this is the most <gasps> unevenly cut four pieces I've ever seen. It's falling apart. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, squares, but that's fine. Here? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, are you okay? <laughs> I'm getting really anxious. Oh, yeah. I think I used too much duck fat. I have so much regret. I thought the more fat, the better. The oil is at 360 degrees. I did sunflower oil because it has a smoke point of 450 degrees. Hey, you do, do it. it. You do it. You do it, Gordon. Right. Should we call the fire department now? Or? Well, that's a lot of sizzle. Honey? Honey, I'm scared. Stop. Oh my god, look at this. Look oh at this. Oh my god. Whoa. Temperature is dropping. Temperature is dropping. Okay, clear. Clear? You know, like, I thought we were doing like a Grey's Anatomy moment. We're so lame. <laughs> it's so bad. I don't know why anybody watches these videos. <laughs> <It's so bad. laughs> okay, so he's saying all of them are sticking to the ground you and they're all chips? falling apart. You like potato chips? Here, this one's for you. I think you overcrowded the pan. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> Fight when we're 60. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Drop right there. It. Wait, when it gets to 350. Right, right now, now it's at 330 bits. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite of this. Okay. Yeah. How was it? What does that mean? He's going for seconds. He's silent. There's crunching. There's lip smacking. It's a potato chip. <laughs> <laughs> it's a potato. It's a potato. So we've turned potato chips into mashed potatoes and then a 15 hour potato process into potato chips again. Now all we have to do is boil them and then make them back into mashed potatoes and we'll be at ground one. Whoa, 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 mother forker. Does it look good? No. Hour. Do you know how many TikToks I've watched in that hour? So many TikToks. So many TikToks, I didn't even need to see. You really should have left that one in the drafts. And I really should have left this video in my hearted videos and not try to recreate it because I don't vibe with duck fat. So are you gonna show them what we made? Yeah, but do I have to eat it? I no, can't. Look at that cooking oil. Look at these potatoes. This is just... This is just disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself, Stephanie. I don't know why I think that I can make these complex chef curated recipes by myself with no help. What do you mean you have my help? I don't know why I think I can make these chef curated recipes by myself and this idiot that. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta go. I need to shard again. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. On a side note, I know that I don't vibe well with um, duck fat, but you know what I do vibe well with? I vibe well with my contacts that I get 25% off of Glasses USA and all of my very affordable glasses that are super stylish and help me see things, you know? Because it's good to have 20-20 vision. Make sure to check out GlassesUSA.com, linked in the description, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!